Hector, Hector, slow down. I won that money fair and square. I don't, I, I, I don't care if your brother was having an off night. That's I won. I didn't cheat. I didn't do anything. I won that game. I don't care how mad he is. I'm not giving it back. What? What? I'm. I need to get out of town. Is that what you're telling me? I need to leave. Well, I got my farm to worry about. I. Well, stall him as much as you can, I guess, Hector. Jeez. I'm. I, Oh, thanks for the heads up. This is Joe. Hey, Lewis, what's up, man? Oh, so, slow, slow, slow down, man. What? Where are you at now? What are you doing at the airport? Dude, I told you not to go down there. It... What are you... Well, how long are you going to be gone? You don't know. Where are you going? You can't tell me. Aha, funny, Lewis. No, I'm serious. Like, wh You don't know how where you're going or how long you're going to be gone. How, how mad is he? Oh. Threatened to do that, huh? Yeah, I think I'd be on an airplane, too. What are you going to do about the farm? You want me to do what? Man, I help you out every now and then. I am not ready to take over a farm. You better find another choice. I'm not it. Whoa, no, no. We're not ending this conversation like this. You'll be in touch. Lewis, wait, Lewis. What the? Remember this quote. To expand your awareness, seemingly random events will be seen to fit into a larger purpose. Life has a way of surprising you. And I was in for a surprise when some old boys from Miami came looking for the money I had won in a card game. Let's just say I was out of town faster than a cheetah on meth. I'm not a fighter. I enjoy a lack of painful stimuli in my life, so I ran. Now I'm sure you're asking, what happened to the farm? Well, I left it in the good hands of a young man who had shown himself pretty dependable over the years. His name is Joe. Some folks call him Raz. Not sure why. Oh, that's right. Something about video games. Complete waste of time, if you ask me. He was my only choice. And even though I was gone, I would be sure to check in on him from time to time. He's absolutely floored right now. This is crazy. Crazy old coot. Signed everything over to me? What the heck? Guy is nuts! Well, if, if you guys are watching this, let me tell you a little bit about what's going on. Okay, so my name is Joe. Okay? Some people call me Raz. Um, I, uh, I'm a local here on Emerald Coast, uh, and I'm also an amateur videographer. So um, I'm, I'm probably going to be recording this stuff kind of as a video diary as to what's going on. So... Long story short, Lewis got himself in trouble again, and he's ran off, left me the farm. I, I, I don't know where he's going or what he's doing. Right in the middle of harvest, winter wheat is in. Um, now, how do I know Lewis? I've been helping him out the last few years here and there, and uh, I've, I've got to know him um, pretty well. And uh, I, I, apparently he has no one else to take over this I mean, I'm not really I don't even really work for him he's just been paying me cash and he literally I just got out of the real estate office there and every everything's mine I, I'm in control of everything now I don't I don't know how this is gonna work but I, I, uh, I don't know I'm at a loss for words right now I thought I'd drive over here and see how things are going 
looks like everything's left the barn wide open. Look at that. See, I mean, what's that guy been up to? I really, I haven't helped him in a couple months. I haven't seen him since last last fall. He said he said he put winter wheat in. Has to be ready. Looks like it. I'm just floored that he's gone. Like I I do I I don't know what else to do. Um, guess I'll help take care of the farm. He better be paying me for this. That's all I know. I don't. I, I, he better be paying me for this. Try to get a hold of him. I, I, I've tried calling him like three times. He's not answering. <sighs> See, maybe we can figure this out. Not sure. It's, yeah. Still got the same equipment he did last year. Well, I guess we'll harvest some wheat. I guess that's what we'll do. But yeah. Um, like I said, I, I, I like like my GoPros and my drones, and I'll be videotaping this and uh, putting it up there for uh, my friends to look at, stuff like that. So, hey everybody, how's it going? It's me, Raz, and we are on Lewis's farm, and Lewis is out of town for an undetermined amount of time. I don't know what that means exactly. He uses big words, and I get confused. I don't know about you guys, but man, he uses some big, big words. He, poor guy, he just farms and reads. That's about it. Um, I think that bird died. Oh, let's back up. That's kind of scary there for a second. thought the bird fell out and died. All right, well, I guess I'll harvest wheat, and I'll shoot some footage, and maybe you guys will like it. Maybe you won't. Either way, I don't really care. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Breaking the video to rant here, right? So Lewis gets in trouble. He runs off. He leaves me with all this work to do. I have no help. I'm usually the one who runs the cart or the harvester. I'm usually the second driver. Now we have no second driver. I'm having to do this by myself. I'm having to like stop the harvester, get out, grab the tractor, pull it up under the This is gonna take forever. Man. Really wish that guy would have stayed here. I don't know if I'm going to want to do this.
one more little talky talk point. Um, this uh, Lewis says bins. Uh, this is the GSI corn bin. That's what he put his corn in last year. I don't. I think it's empty right now. Um, but then he added this is new over here on uh, this Brock bin. This is new. Um, it's got the dryer on the back, solar panel, and he went high tech this time. I don't even remember him talking about putting this in. Like I said, I haven't really, I haven't talked to him much since um, last winter. I mean, just you know, friendly conversation. But as for how the farm is, so yeah, the Brock been in. Um, this thing's a little not level, maybe crooked or something. I don't know. All right, let's jump in here and fire up the Ford. Can power this. All right, the four that's connected. Right now, start on load. Well, I got one of the fields done. We got five left, so one down, five to go. Don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this today. Um, because I am all by myself. Thank you very much, Lewis. I hope you watch this someday, and I hope I can give you crap about this for the rest of your life. All right. It is starting to get dark out. Looks like we should be able to finish this field up and then probably call it quits for the night. Two. I don't know enough whether I could run all night I bet you it has to do with humidity and all that jazz, and I'm still learning this. Um, I don't know if I was the best choice to be left in charge of this farm, but I am the choice. So, yep, we'll keep plugging along and uh, get this uh, rest of this field done. And I'll give you a report that you know how we did that. See you in a minute. Well, I'm going to call it quits for the night. I got uh, that other field finished up. Um, I think we'll end up with around 3,000 bushels brought bin uh, for the day. Uh, not too bad, considering I've been running this all myself. Um, I, I, can't, I can't complain too much. I, I hope I've done well for Lewis. Um, I'll, uh, I'll try to get in touch with him and maybe next time we're here we'll get an update from Lewis and he'll tell us how he's doing and uh, maybe I'll send him these videos and he can judge my performance and maybe pay me I don't know how I'm gonna get paid I'm still worried about that because you know, he kind of left without you know tell me how to be paid maybe he'll just let me write my own checks now that'd be interesting Ooh, the stuff I'll buy on his money all right thank you guys for hanging out with me and uh, like I said, we'll hear from Lewis soon, I hope. And uh, until next time, everybody, stay safe. Thanks for watching.